the card okay okay let us start the class so first of all we need to open click here show and run commands click on java create java project click on no build tools so in your computer select a folder where you want to store the file okay this is my folder here keep a name suppose today we are going to understand about circuit programming okay circuit programming to write the programming for server application and client application both will be communicate with each other through a port number okay so like that so client client applications uh, send a text a string that will be read by the server and print that is the story we need to do like that so here i need to put uh, class name file name first of all client name. suppose server one okay server one because already i have created a with the server okay server one so it opens it opens your source file and you re rename this this is the default this is app.java it is the default always whenever you create a project so you will get this app.java as default you change this name rename it as per your desire i want to keep this name as server one okay server one dot java click on that enter you click on this you will get server one dot java so this is your file name so your class name must be equal to file name server one okay now it is okay so as i told you that in the previous classes means uh just before this okay on saturday i tried to cover the theoretical concepts over um, java networking so which is java.net package supports it supports to how to write the code for java networking as we discussed that networking java networking that is used for sharing of resources and centrally software management okay so somewhat terminology we have studied somewhat mac address port number tcp transmission control protocol user datagram front of protocol and socket ip address port number these points in the saturday class we have saturday i have covered within two periods uh, totally that is what your theoretical topics today let us try to write the code for this okay for a client side application and server side application so as i told you that these classes are very free classes my dear students now the classes will be conducted uh, thrice of a week three days of a week friday saturday sunday sharply at 8 pm okay these classes will be conducted up to my last breath and i my intention is my main aim is to reach to corner to corner of india so in india so many rural villages are there so many students uh, living in the rural villages they don't have laptops so many times i told you that you need not laptop you can write the coding in the mobile okay i told you that thousand pages of coding i have written in the mobile for python and java okay we are we have a lot of apps to write the code in the mobile okay if you want to you whenever you feel how any doubt you can call me my number 9111113986509110398650 okay so the classes the previous classes uh, the videos i have kept in youtube you can watch from there and you can discuss with me if you have any doubts okay so now 
now come to the point okay so now first of all uh, let us uh, comment here socket pro socket programming okay java socket programming okay what is java socket programming okay in socket program socket programming i uh, started i told you that um two apps two apps means client app server app they will communicate with each other through endpoints they are called sockets okay so through port numbers okay so here today simply a client client sends a text client sends a text okay text means what string a huh? string type of data client sends a text so server receives that receives the text and print it and print it this is our topic today so first of all we need to write import in the previous saturday i told you that we need to import a package that is what import a package that is what java from java main package java dot if you write the dot you will get so many packages here so many packages simply java is the main package dot if you keep these are all packages okay applet package awt awt means abstract windows toolkit especially use it to create the forms buttons okay labels to that is text box that is means um, that is what windows based applications okay this is one more package awt color okay abstract windows toolkit like that after that beans one one more package within this abstract window toolkit uh, so many packages are here after that beans okay this is input output package today we will use here this one okay and language package language annotation instrument language invoke so many management math java dot math java dot net this will be used today so nio okay channels okay rmi this so many sql okay so many these are all utility many times we have used the utility packages so two packages i told you that one is that java this one okay and after that if you want to you know particular class if you want to import you can write otherwise simply put star star means all the classes will be imported after that semicolon that is very important huh? next one more i told you that one more that is import java dot dot net you come here if you simply type n you will get net java dot net so star star means all the classes okay if you know the class name if you know the class name you can write the class name suppose if you know the class name as server socket okay so server socket only server socket only one class but if you know if you if you need to import more classes you need to ka comma socket okay these two classes so i think it is better i think it's better simply you keep what star 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 means all the classes so no input output package consists of all the package uh, all the classes whatever okay no after that this is your main class as i told you that whenever a project a file is created so within this file this will be two default statements one main class simply write main class this is what main class main class name can be changed as per your wish i have changed this name as server one but this is the main method main method never be changed okay 
these two are public, public, this public, these are access modifiers. This is the class name. A static is a keyword. It indicates that this method is class method, main method, no need to create object. Why it means it is written, it will not give any return. It is this method, main method is not written type. So like that, okay. So this is the default statement. If you want to keep it, otherwise you remove it. No, no issue. Now within this, first of all, I need to do what? I need to write a code like what, you know, come down. First of all, you comment here, okay. Create server application. Server, yeah. Server app. Okay. Now you write the code like this. Server socket. See here. This is the class. Clearly, it is mentioning here. This is the Java.net. Java is a main package net is sub package within this this is a class server socket class click on this okay so for this server socket class of what which package dot net net package so for this server socket class you create objects simply you write it ss ss means shortly s a server socket is equal to, otherwise you can keep anything here object X, Y, Z, your name, my name, anything, object, okay? Actual syntax is what to create syntax to create object for a class. What is the syntax to create object for a class? Syntax First of all, we need to write the class name first. Class name. Next, object name is equal to new keyword. Okay. Then class name again. Brackets. Next, semicolon. This is the syntax. So as per this syntax, we need to write the code, class name. So what is class name? I told you that this server socket is a class name. This is part of .NET package, server socket. Okay. Now, next word, object name. SS, you can keep anything here. Anything X, Y, Z, you can keep x otherwise may why wasu you can keep my name no issue okay is equal to new new keyword compulsory name class name one second what is our class name server socket then after bracket and then semicolon now this is called many times this is a method special method it is a special because i told you that whenever this bracket type after any word that will be a function or a method but it is a method because it is part of a class server one so it is a method special method that is called constructor Constructor. Okay. Okay. So now, if you do like this, you come down here. One more class we need to create the object. One more class. That is what? Socket class. Object okay, simply you take S, whatever. See, so we are creating the server app. So, this server and client app first, we will create the server app. I told you that while creating two apps to communicate with each other, I told you that two protocols we need to follow one is that TCP protocol uh, and UDP protocol. 
Okay. I told you that TCP is a connection oriented. This word connection connection oriented. Connection oriented means what? In the Saturday session, I tried to brief all of the theoretical topic. Connection oriented means here the receiver sends a acknowledgement to the sender. Receiver sends acknowledgement to the sender and it is reliable, reliable. reliable. Because why receiver sends an acknowledgement that I have received the message. That's why it is reliable and slow also. Okay, this TCP. So for this, T, uh, this is what Java socket programming, uh, we need to write here, socket programming for what? Connection oriented. Socket programming, connection oriented. Connection oriented. What do you mean by connection oriented for this? What protocol we need to use TCP? And for this connection oriented, two classes will be used for socket programming. Okay, one is that server socket, comma, socket class. These two classes of your net, net package, java.net package, these two classes will be used for write the server application. So same, I have used these two classes to create the object. I have created Vasu as object. You can, I told you that you can keep anything here, SS, no issue. Okay, after that, for again, socket, uh, socket class. Always the class name must be Capital letter. If you keep S, yes, it will give error because imported classes from any package they are what here also my built-in this is my built-in class. Okay, I have I have changed this class name. Okay, so that's why it is my class name. So build this is a, sorry build not it is not built-in class. It is user defined class. Okay, this main class becomes what user defined class. It becomes what user defined class. Why because why it is user defined everything i am writing the code name i have changed and whatever i am writing under this main method so it is user defined class but these server socket socket they are the built-in classes part of your net dot net package okay they are the built-in classes already predefined by the programmer so for this socket i told you that class name must be always capital so this is the object. You can keep anything here. As per syntax, we are going. Now is equal to, we will not write this new socket here. This code we will not write. We will use what? One method of this object. Okay, this uh, server socket has one method. That is what, let us see. So that method, class method will be accessed by object. I told you many times. The server socket has a method that will be used here. That method name is equal. So you need to access that method ss dot. If you simply put the dot operator, it will help you accept method. Okay. So now, so now try to understand this method accept method. What it does? Try to understand this method accept method. It is a method of your server socket class. That method will be accessed by object. Okay. Now here, what it does, it establishes connection. It establishes connection between what? Server and client. Server and client. Then after what? Once connection is established, once connection is established, okay? And waits for the client. Waits for the client, okay? So once a connection is established, established connection between server and client, okay? And waits for client, okay? Once client 
connected with the port number, here we need to put a port number. Where is here? We need to put a port number. Put a port number, anyone? This is what? Okay. This is the port number. So whenever client connect with this port number, okay. So that moment, so it returns that object. Returns the object. It returns the instance means same word object instance both instance of socket class. Okay, this is the means whenever connection is established, that moment. So this method by this method connection will be established. After that, looks waits for the client. So whenever client is connected with this port number, so it returns the instance of the socket class. What is the instance of the socket class? This one. This is the server. instance object. Instance means object of the socket class. Now come down here. Next. So what we did here, we did two things are here. Two objects are created for two classes. As I told you that for connection oriented, these two classes we need to take for these two classes, object will be created for this first one. And here port number passed. After that for socket, class object created the socket if you keep with the mouse no? if the if you keep the mouse over that class so it will this is java development kit 1.0 and it will intimate that somewhat brief uh, summary of this socket class this class implements client sockets also called just sockets it implements client sockets okay as i told you that this is uh, this uh, this method establish a connection between server and client. Okay, and after that waits for the client to connect with this port number. Once it is connected with this port number, client is connected with this port number. This object will be object means instance. It, uh, object instance both are same. A socket class will be returns. Okay, now but one thing <clears throat> we need to keep this total code in try block that is very important huh? try block already i covered in the previous topics okay don't worry about the what is that i will explain simply i will put a focus over try and catch blocks so try and catch blocks they are the part of your exception handling they are part of your exception Simply, I want to give exception handling. I want to brief somewhat about try catch blocks. Otherwise, you will get error. I will, you will get. Okay. This is the syntax of exception catch blocks. Okay. This is the this is the code for a catch block. Every time try always must have must be associated with the catch block so try never be alone try to be along with catch block okay if you write only try block block means what open brace and close brace so now it becomes a block of code whatever the code written under try block many times i told you that block means a, a, some lines of code kept under okay this try so now it becomes what try block so always try block must be along with catch block within the catch block we need to write this line of code exception e e is a variable exception means errors in programming they are called bugs bugs means exceptions okay so whatever the bug error it will be stored in this variable that variable exception so many exception names are here errors are okay index out of bound exception arithmetic exception like so many exceptions are there so that whatever the exception it would be like an object and stored in this variable if you want to see that variable what is the error you simply write system dot out dot print ln okay you simply put E here, E bracket close, we terminate with the semicolon, okay. 
Now you remove this one. Okay. Now your catch block finished with proper catch block as only one statement. That is a print statement. You want to see which type of exception it is. Okay. Whatever if any error is there, so that error will be stored in this variable as an object that will be you, you want to see as a printout. So now catch block is okay. So what about the try block? Within this try block, we have kept two, two lines of code. Okay. After that, we need to write word. One more code. That is word data. This is input stream. This is the, we need to take data input stream. We need to create object for data input stream. It's okay. You for this data input stream, create the object. Object name, anything as I told you that. If you want to keep it is very short, DIS. Okay. DIS data in object for data input stream. Okay. Otherwise, if you want to keep it as a simply object, you write object as per your wish, doesn't matter. Anything you can keep. So new new keyword data. This is input stream. Input stream, it is a, it must have brackets and terminated with the semicolon. You can, so try to understand 10 minutes are there within, we need to create one side server application. We need to finish that. Okay. After that, in second period, we will write the code for, that is what your client side application, client side. So try to understand this data input stream, it is a class of whom I will package. Input output package. This in input output package. I told you that package is what package. I commented uh, package is a folder or directory in Java. But in Python, it is called module. Package means a folder or directory in Python it is called the package called a module. Module means their folder or fire, uh, fire directory. Okay. So a folder or directory may have many classes. Many classes. So every class has many methods. Many class has many many methods. Okay. So as per this statement, so package is a folder or directory. Many that fo folder or directory has many classes. So for this, our net.net package has two classes: server socket and uh, socket class. For the server socket and socket class, I have used here this method of the server socket class accessed with the object name created for the server socket. This is the accept method, is built-in method of this server socket class. What it does, its role is what? It establishes a connection between the server and client. After that, once connection is created, it waits for it waits for the client. Okay. Whenever wait uh, client connected with this port number, so it returns the instance of the socket class. This is the instance. So after that, this is in uh, one one more class of input output package. Okay, for this I have created the object. This is the constructor. You you write this is a constructor of the class. Now within this constructor, I need to do what? This is uh, where is that? Uh -huh. Here, here, this socket has one method. This socket class has one method that method will be accessed with this object so you put this you call that method s dot simply you put dot you will get many methods of this 
in get input stream this get input stream is being accessed by the object object created for the socket class so socket class has so many methods so if you put dot so this get input stream that is being accessed by this object created for the socket class okay now what it does get input stream we need to comment here now what it does get input stream method of this socket class it reads the input stream it reads the who reads get input stream method get input stream method of which class socket class Socket class reads reads what input stream input stream. So input stream is being sent by whom client. Okay. Initially, I have written client sends a text that is string. Okay. The text will be received by the server receives the text and print print it prints it. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> class reads input stream. So get input stream, that is the method of socket class, reads input stream sent by the sent by the client. Okay. Now, now try to understand that. Where is that? Okay. So, no, it is okay. Now you come down. Now this get input stream reads input stream. Okay. That is sent by the client. So, whenever that uh, input stream that will be converted to a converted to a Unicode format. Okay. Unicode format. So from that Unicode format, we need to bring it back to string. Okay. So now you do one thing. You create, you read that from, you, this input stream, data input stream class as a method that is called dot read method, dot read method dot read method. If you put dot operator, you can simply read method. Method of what? I told you that that will be accessed. This is a method of the data input stream class that is part of your IO package, input output okay package. So this method will be accessed by object OBJ. OBJ reads. So now as I told you that this read method is called UTF. UTF means UTF stands for, you need to write that Unicode translation, translation, yeah, transformation, translation, translation for much. In UTF means Unicode translation format. What happened whenever the client sends that string that will be put in a format of UTF format. Okay, what that is called what? Nothing but Unicode character encoding. Character encoding format. Unicode character encoding format. So that is to be converted to a string format. That is to be converted to a string format. Okay. So now you put here. Now, now your uh, client, whatever the client sends, 
that is uh, read by this uh, get input stream of your this socket class and that will be in which format that is what a unicode character encoding form so now that is to be converted this method of what this your data input stream class of your input output package and <clears throat> that is to be converted into a string now this will be stored in a variable variable take any variable suppose simply you write str string is a variable you need to declare it as a string now that value will be stored so you need to terminate with the semicolon that value will be stored in where in where in this str str is a string okay that this input stream will be converted to into unicode ca encoding character that will be converted to a string by this method of what by this method of what this data input stream that is part of your io package input output package okay <clears throat> now little bit code is what is what object dot you got this okay okay now you put you paste here 